Hug and Andy with Handy Andy Handyman, Handy Andy On Demand, and we are out uh, reviewing a project over in the Ackworth area. And it, you know, you just always have to be careful in our industry. Uh, most of our companies, including my own, ha employ salespeople. And if salespeople don't sell, they don't earn a commission. The better companies will train their salespeople to not sell you something you don't need. Unfortunately, in our business, most contractors, including the salesmen, realize that that homeowner is probably a one-hit wonder. They're not going to be happy, They're whatever it is. So they're going to hit you for as much as they possibly can on the sales side. And where this happens a lot is with water and drainage issues. It happens in everything. I mean, we just did a job in Grayson where the customer was quoted over $80,000 for work that was about $25,000. Um, that we've since completed for twenty five thousand. Uh, so you just have to be careful what you're doing, um, and just bear that in mind. And so the same thing with salesmen. Salesmen out in the field are earning anywhere from a ten to twenty percent commission. So the the more they can boost your ticket, uh, the more money they're going to make potentially. Uh, the issue with a lot of drainage issues and and rotted wood and all these kinds of things are: are you treating the symptoms, or are you getting a causation? And so here we have a house that's had some drainage issues and so much water had leaked into the front of this house in this area right here that it actually ruined the basement area. And so that whole thing had to be redone, drywall pulled out, new base, new flooring, all that kind of stuff. And so one of the water uh, intrusion companies and actually a very good company that we refer business to had a salesman come out here who sold this customer a system that, yeah, it works. But if you can prevent the water from getting inside your house in the first place, that's really what you wanna do. And so this customer put in a system that once the water gets inside the house, it's pumped out to the side, and we'll show you that in a second. Um, the real issue with this house is if you look up at the gutter, it may be a little bit hard to see it, but you can see some lines across the gutter, like right in this area right here, right there, and there's another one over here. So this is a sectional gutter. So it's always gonna leak. Uh, it's a four inch gutter instead of a six inch gutter, and it's got these little bitty two by three inch downspouts at the end down there. It can't possibly handle the water that comes off this roof. Uh, and it's got screens that should really be removed on top. Uh, and I actually meant to ask my guys to do that. And just, you, you gotta be careful with these screen systems because you can see like here, it's raised up. Um, the gutters were clogged when our guys first came out. So they cleaned all that stuff. And unless I tell them otherwise, or one of the managers tells them otherwise, they're gonna just put back whatever was there. And so in a real heavy rain, we happened to be fortunate to be here when we got like three inches of rain the other day. Uh, and we had a light rain again last night. And you can see how much water is hitting this front deck area right here, the landing area. Uh, and when you get up on it, the water in every rain is running right off the top of this gutter. And it's getting behind the fascia board and it's coming down and it's actually lifting the paint. If you see all this right in this area right here, it's been touched up repeatedly. That's why you see a difference in the color, but it's actually lifting all the way around. Uh, we have sealed the, the little trim piece, the ledger board here up against the side of the, uh, that trim piece up against the stucco. Uh, so we've sealed that up, but in a heavy rain, the moisture is laying right here. It drains right into this area. And now that water intrusion company has put a drain system here, uh, kind of a French drain system where it's, it's covered with rocks. So any of the water that hits here is caught by this little trough under here and it runs to a side drain but it never addressed the causation. Uh, she's getting so much rain here in a heavy rain uh, that the water's actually coming inside of this door and landing inside and we were able to shoot a video for her the other day. Most houses and every house that has a basement and almost every single house uh, per code has what's called the foundation drain. And it'll go around three quarters of the house. Uh, so it's usually black corrugated pipe, which we don't like, but it's okay for that purpose because it's, the foundation drain is really only meant to catch the surface water that hits the side of your house and drops against it. And it catches it before it hits the bottom of the foundation and can leach into the house. Hydrostatic pressure, if you get enough water against the side of this house, it's going to leach through your foundation. And it doesn't take a lot to do that. Uh, so you can see this is part of their system right here. Uh, it catches any water that comes down the side right here as well. Uh, and it's shot out to the side somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where it's, it's shot to. Uh, but the foundation drain runs through here. Now this is that gutter drain right here, which it probably drains over to this customer's or this neighbor's yard over here somewhere. We'd have to find it, it's somewhere in this hill. 
Uh, but this thing I'm sure is clogged. So that's what's handling the water off this front gutter goes to here. And then down the side over here, there's a little foundation drain and I was able to send the customer a video in real heavy rain. There's nothing coming through this thing. It's totally clogged. And there should be one up over the other side over here and it's not here because they built this planting stuff right here. Now it may be down below under here somewhere. I don't know. We'd have to dig and find it. But that foundation drain will come all the way around the edge down through here and it should come out around this back corner somewhere. Um, but we're not seeing it. So if it's clogged on both sides, all that water that hits the side of the house is just leaching against the foundation and eventually it's gonna leach into the house. So at some point in time, we need to catch that stuff. If you are a homeowner somewhere, go around the outside of your house, find, find your foundation drains. Half of the water intrusion issues that we deal with on a regular basis are because of clogged foundation drains or missing foundation drains. Um, we did a project in Canton recently where uh, it took a lot of time to do it. And in fact, we still have to go back. Uh, there's another section of his house that's catching some water. So it takes some time to fix these things and catch them all. Um, but if you know what you're looking for, you can get it done. Now, will this system help prevent water from getting into the basement? Absolutely. But it's overkill and it's something that was done to treat a symptom instead of a cause. It's kind of like going to the store when you got the flu and you get some flu medication that flu medication is treating the symptoms, make you feel a little bit better. The real cure is your body fights it off and you're good to go again. Um, so the solution on this house will be to up this gutter right here to six inches on this side and on the back side of the house, do away with the screens, change these downspouts from the two by three little ones to three by four. It's gonna handle 50% more volume of water and then pull it out of this drain system she's got here and really we like to use four inch PVC um, schedule 40 pipe with a clean out and just run it down the sideline and, and pump it to the backyard. Once she gets it in the backyard, it'll naturally drain and that's what you want. So anyway, if you got water issues or stuff going on in your home, Metro Atlanta, it's me and my brother, a team of 26 currently, you know, we vacillate from 20 to 30 people. It just depends. Uh, at one time, this company had 150 workers here back uh, 2010, I guess. And it was absolutely crazy here. I'm not just a worker, I, I, I run this company, I work in the field with my guys, we sell jobs. Um, just be patient with us, getting on the us on the phone is really hard. Um, you can reach in the office 770-912-2829. Sometimes you can catch me, Andy, at 770-265-9017. See you at the next house. Bye for now.